I'm going to be talking about the common sign that you should pay attentive to when having a relationship or when you want to go into a new relationship so that you don't waste your time. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If today is your first time of coming across my channel, you are highly welcome. For my returning subscriber, Thank you for always coming back to my channel. So number one I'm going to be talking about is low communication. So if you are starting a new relationship and you find out that the person you are dating or the person that is preaching to you that he or she loves you so much, he said he loves you so much, is not always calling you. If somebody are interested in you, if somebody loves you, they are going to be calling you all the time they were going to be calling you to be checking out on you they want to know how your days go they want to know what you are doing they want to know what you eat today they want to know they want to know everything about you so if a man or a woman is interested in you is going to be it's going to always call you they are going to be a uh, they are going to be communication like stuff of communication between you and the person if you a guy just talked to you and this guy told you that uh, he loves you and uh, you guys have you know have exchanged love vows to each other you know so and um, suddenly the guy stop calling you or the guy is always for me that he is always busy uh is no is always doing something else not always calling you as regular someone who love you even if the person is the most busy person in the whole world if he loves you he's going to create time for you that you and him may have talk or have good time together it can never be busy or less if the person is not interested in you or the person is a confused gender he doesn't know what he wants he want just to waste your time so in relationship we have now are there's a relationship where people want to when people feel boring where people feel that they are alone looking for somebody to waste their time if, when they know that they don't have good intention for that person they're just there because they want someone who can keep them busy who, who they can be talking to so not this sign if he's not always communicating with you he's always giving uh giving excuse always saying i'm busy i'm busy i'm busy no that is not interest is a confused gender okay just not uh, number two i'm going to be talking about not introducing you to his family and friends so if you are dating a guy from a long time now you have been dating that guy for one year two years and the guy have not introducing you to his family i don't say if you meet a guy today he should go and introduce he should go and introduce you to his family no i'm talking about you are dating this guy for one year you'll be dating this guy for two years you'll be dating this guy for three years and he has not introduced you to his family to his friends whenever he's with maybe his mom is a person that does not live close to his mom or close to his family member whenever they call he cannot tell them that you are here he has not introduced you you, you don't even have any connection with you don't even have any connection with his family you have not talked to his family just introduce you to his friends i know they may you know some men do not make friends like that at least some men has one particular friend they may have no maybe one or two friends he has not introducing you to anybody and he's telling you don't worry i don't want to introduce you to my family or he's giving you kiniko and rubbish excuse know that that man is wasting your time it doesn't have interest in you that man is still there at the looking session he just put you as like he just put you as an ocean he's still searching for someone out there that is why he has not introduced you to his family so if you notice this sign my sister use your aunt to cut your thing if you notice this sign in a guy and he has not introduced you for a long time you guys have been dating two years away no introduction to family to friends even if i am talking about family because a guy may have a lot of friends he may introduce you to some of his friends who know that they are just casual friends they are not close to him they, 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 they don't know his home his family and all those stuff he may not introduce you to 
someone like that he introduces you to someone that doesn't even relate to him that doesn't know him too close i'm talking about when he's introducing you to his friends like best friend like his friend his childhood friend someone who's close to the family or his family okay if he doesn't introduce you to those set of people no is a red flag for you just know that he's wasting your time the other one is spend I know a lot of ladies will say, mm, no, I, I don't want men to spend. Mm. Darling, just says noise. If a man loves you and is not spending on you, and is telling you he loves you and is not spending on you, know that as a red flag. If a man loves you, a man wants to provide for you. He wants to show you his ability that he can take care of you. He wants to show you... I don't mean that man has to buy you car, man has to buy you big house, man has to do everything for you, for you to know that the man love you. You know, I'm not talking about the big things man need to do for you. I'm talking about the small, small things man need to do for you. If a man really loves you, he wants to take care of you. He wants to know how, he wants to ask you, baby, uh, uh, what is the, he wants to know the lotion you use. He wants to know the makeup you like. He wants to know the lips paints, uh, uh, paints you like. He wants to know the type of earrings you like. I'm talking about those small, small, small things. I don't think man have to give you millions or thousands i'm not talking about that he have to do little little thing he has to know there are some ladies they are dating a guy for three years and this guy does not know the the shoe size that you are wearing are you right are you guys serious and he doesn't know your shoe size he has not even buy a shoe for you and he doesn't know your 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 holder weight uh that you use he has not buy stuff like that for you and you call that relationship. Mm. You call that relationship. Okay. Good for you. If a man loves you. This man is going to spend on you. That is why you will even see a guy that does not love you. A guy that is a playboy. He will even want to spend on you. Because he wants to show you that he's capable. Okay. So if a man really loves you. They are going to spend on you. They are going to take care of you. It's going to ask you what you use. It's going to do those little, little things for you. It can even go out and say, ah, maybe come into your house or you go to visit him. Can even say, I test this earring. I, I look at the earring I bought for you. You know, if a man loves you, he's going to take good care of you. He's going to spend on you. He, because he wants to make you see that, yes, I can take care of you you hmm. the fourth one is the excuse one hmm. <laughs> the excuse one if a guy always complain a lot is complaining that you call him too much always having one or two excuses to always say to you maybe for example you guys have a date a date night and the guy just come up with unreasonable stuff and tell you mm, we can't make it to hang out again because i'm busy i have work i have this know that that guy does not love you mm -hmm. i know that i am putting the name in the head now knocking it for you guys i know a lot of you guys will come and commit rubbish but you know i'm telling you the real facts okay i'm telling you the fact if this guy is always complaining always have one thing or two to say when you ask him for money or you ask him for things or you ask him for, he always has something to complain about baby girl this man this this man does not love you please kindly walk away always have things to complain about he's not always calling you and when you call him and ask him why you have not be seen i have not received your call for for a days now he's going to tell you you see i am busy i'm this my work i have a hectic work this 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 just know that that guy does not love you because anybody that love you always create time for you and everybody that anybody that love you may not have to complain relation when you just started a relationship new relationships are always going to be like flowers i'm not going to be like love 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 and you just started a new relationship and you are having all this time in the beginning and you want to still put your head inside there mm, sorry yo mm. 
let me see that's last that like you go short breakfast so just carry yourself and go easily because if you still see all this red flag written all over that particular person and you still put your head there mm. last last now you go short breakfast too you will eat breakfast in a bowl of sugar you know bowl of sweetness you will eat it so these are the red flags to look in when entering into a new relationship and also if you have been in a relationship for maybe like one year two years and you you are not seeing this sign on that particular person that used to call you used to do all this thing and then you start noticing all this sign also use it to know that the person is no longer interested in you just do yourself a favor and leave that particular relationship before the person easily come to you and tell you that you see i'm tired i no longer feel love i no longer see that love i no longer see that flowers i no longer see anything there so just do yourself a favor and leave the relationship before you break the news of heartbreak for you so i usually tell you this sign please check this sign be careful when going to a relationship leave the relationship before you break the news of heartbreak for you so i usually tell you this sign please check this sign be careful when going to a relationship if you are okay not only for relationship for also husband if your husband are, are your husband or that you marry are exhibiting all these signs that i just mentioned know that something is wrong that is why you see a lot of women that is why you see a lot of men they start having side cheek they start having a, a second wife because this sign is always there the woman was blindly could not see the sign the sign is always there because men are people who show everything when men when men don't love you even if they say it, even if they don't say that they don't love you their bodies their way of doing explain to you that this man doesn't is no longer interested in you and this man no longer love you so the sign are always there it's just that we as a women we always you know neglect the sign we neglect it and say mm, it's nothing the sign is always there so hold this sign and make sure please check it in your partner so to know your standard okay check it in your partner so you will not make a wrong decision so i will see you guys on my next video don't forget to stay ready stay positive share this video to a friend share this video to a sister share this video to a brother so is opposite sex okay i'm not talking about particular in uh, in a woman also this sign woman can also be carrying this sign is party okay so share this video so that a lot of people will be going will be going through this sign and they don't know the meaning of this sign so share to them share to that sister share to that brother my next video don't forget to stay edgy stay positive or the best be nice to one another i love you guys